Hey everyone, this is pretty late to the game, but if you're trying to find things to add to your arsenal on Prime Day 2024, these are just a, a few things from my order history that I've had really good luck with. I've bought a lot of tools on Amazon, a lot of good ones, and a lot of bad ones too. These are things that I've used. I've had good luck with them, good experience and all that. Uh, just disclosure, this video is not sponsored or anything like that. Not sponsored, I no affiliate or anything like that. Uh, maybe someday in the future we'll we'll get there, but that's not on the table right now. This is just for if you're scrambling, trying to find a good deal on something that'd be worth uh, that'd be worth having. Um, wherever you're at in your your uh, auto repair mechanic, small engine, whatever you're at career, uh, these are things that I like. So first off, this is actually one that I bought uh, just yesterday. I ordered it, but I've used these NoCo boosters in the past. I got the 300 or 3,000 amp this time, allegedly 3,000 amp. Uh, these are, in my experience, these are just the gold standard of these little portable compact jump starters, and uh, I've always liked them when I've used them, and uh, I'm ready to get one now. I think their whole line is on sale for Prime Day, so uh, you can have a look, figure out what size you want, but this is the one that I got this time. This is what I purchased late last year. This is a kind of an off-brand jump starter, Loki Thor, a little bit of a conflict there. Um, it struggles jump-starting uh, some stuff. You know, regular passenger cars, four-cylinder V6, usually it'll do the job. Uh, I certainly, <laughs> certainly, it says up to 7.0 liter gas, 4.5 liter, liter diesel. That might be overselling it a little bit. Uh, I did not have luck using it for, for anything that big. But for small cars, it's good, and it's uh, really capable as a tire inflator. Um, so... Yeah, they they're definitely overselling it with the description, but for a hundred bucks, uh, that that is not too bad of a deal right now. Looks like there's a coupon right now as well, for a little extra off. This was my first OBD2 scan tool. It works with the Torque app uh, that you get on your phone. This is the Android version. I, I I don't know anything about the iPhone. Maybe they have it. Maybe they don't. Uh, Torque and Torque Pro, th these are extremely capable apps. They work on a blo a, a Bluetooth dongle like this. Uh, it only works on the powertrain side of things, though. So you can monitor data from the PCM. Uh, you can read codes, clear codes. You can graph data, which is really nice for diagnosing some issues. It's way more capable than just your regular little, you know, uh, handheld scanners that you buy at the buy at the parts store for for anything less than you know probably fifty or sixty, seventy bucks. Uh, this is way more capable than any of that. Used with the Torque app. Once you get the hang of the Torque app. Um, it's free. I think Torque Pro is five bucks, something like that. Um, it's 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 nice. This is what I used for for a while. Only issue is you cannot. Uh, it's not bi-directional. You can't do relearns. You can't do any commands to the PCM, and you also cannot read any other modules, ABS module, anything like that. You're not going to be able to read anything from that. Blue Driver is a step above. I used this for a while before getting a better scan tool. And uh, I think this is probably as good as it gets under a hundred dollars, uh, and and probably <laughs> well beyond that. This is basically the same as Torque, but they have their own app, and it reads all modules. So you can read your ABS module, your uh, you know wh whatever other modules that you're that you're trying to look at. But again, it's not bi-directional. You cannot do relearns. You can't command things. You just clear codes, read codes, and monitor data. Uh, just some consumables here. Uh, these are uh, heat shrink connectors. I use quite a few of these. Uh, you've got your spades here and your just barrel butt connectors here. More barrel butt connectors. These are the only two kind of weird name cheapo brands that I've found to be uh, really reliable. There's Quibauk and Hyastronica. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what that means. It probably means something vulgar. But anyway, these are I've, I've used a lot of junk ones, too, that I did not like. Those are not making it onto this video. But these all I have used. You got different sizes here, different brands. I've used these. I really like them. I use them all the time, especially trailer wiring repairs, things like that. Um, these, these are great, all, all, all three of these. These spades, these barrels. And, uh, and these ones, too. It's just a different size package and a, a different brand, but they're both good. Mechanics Original Gloves. 
Uh, these need no introduction. Uh, these are great. Good time to grab them. Sunix, 3 8 drive, Crowfoot, Flare. Uh, the, these, these are not great, but they're pretty good for the price. Uh, they've always done the job when I've needed them to. They, the big issue is the fit is good and everything, but they do not have a, they don't have a detent in here. So you'll be fighting them. You know, they'll be trying to come off the wrench, come off the extension, because there's really nothing locking it onto there. Uh, you might be able to use the rag trick or something like that to get them to stay on a little bit better. But, um, yeah, these are these, these work in a pinch. If the really good ones are out of the budget right now, for 20 bucks, you can have something that'll work. It'll fight you, but it'll work. I, I like these for what they're worth. So, Tecton 3 8 torque wrench. Uh, it's, it's a torque wrench. It works pretty well, 10 to 80 foot-pounds. I used this for a few years before upgrading uh, pretty recently, actually. Uh, yeah, I got it in 2016, so whew, I put six or seven years, yeah, about, oh my goodness, almost uh, eight years on it. But it it worked well for me while I used it. Uh, can't complain about it. It started to uh, started to get a little weird towards the end there. I think calibration was off. Um, the, the dial started to not line up right with the numbers the way that you'd expect it to, but shoot for the price. If you're, if you're a little early in your career and, and, uh, money is not just falling out of the sky, then it's a pretty good deal. I like Tecton generally as a brand. I've, I've always heard good stuff about their customer service and everything. So I like that one. This just a uh, this is a low profile cheapo scissor jack. I don't I don't put these under a car. What I use these for is for they can be used for kind of spreading suspension parts in some cases. Um, and then what I use them for most of the time really is lifting the beds of pickup trucks in order to change out the fuel pump. Uh, these are really good for that. The build quality is eh. I would not I would not put one and a half tons on top of this, uh, and I would certainly not get under a vehicle that's supported by it. But for for the kind of stuff where you just need to push on something or to hold something that's just a little too much to do it by hand, but not not to the point where you want to get out like a, a serious jack or a bottle jack or something like that. Uh, these are pretty nice. They fit into pretty tight spaces and uh, and they do the job. These are pretty good for headlight restorations. These are just sanding discs. These are not as good as the 3M, but uh, if you you know if you don't do headlight restorations that often and you just want to have a handful of these on hand, uh, these work. I've used them and I like them pretty well. And got a few different grits here. Uh, what is it? 800, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. Yeah, that does the job. 16 bucks for, for a whole bunch of them is not a bad deal at all. These lights, I've broken a few of these. You see it says purchased three times. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, they're, they're more durable than a lot of the cheapo flashlights that I've used, but not as durable as, as the pro-grade stuff. The reason I buy these is because it's both a, a flashlight, a really bright flashlight, and a black light as well. So if I'm looking at a refrigerant leak or something like that, I'm, I'm hunting for UV dye. Uh, my flash, my UV flashlight is already in my pocket, and that's that's really convenient. Um, I've gotten more careful with them as far as uh, not breaking them. This last one has lasted, uh, well, yeah, I, I reordered just today. I can't remember how, how long ago I ordered before, but I've had it for a while. Um, so, yeah, build quality, not, not terrific, but features are great. Functionality is really great, and the price is uh, extremely great, so... I'm happy, again, happy with those for what they are. These headlamps, I like these a lot. There's a, uh, oh, I got the more expensive version first, and it just ended up, you know, the strap wearing out and, and everything all the same as anything else would. Battery got swollen, so I just got the just got the cheapo ones this time, a three-pack for, for cheap. I uh, bought them before. None of them are wore out yet, but I'm, I'm going to wear these things out. I know they're cheapo. They're working well right now, but I'm sure I'm going to wear them out. So I reordered again just today just to keep them on hand um, for, for whenever I do wear out my current set of three. And, yeah, these are nice. I, I, I like them. 
I'm sure they're not. Uh, I don't expect them to hold up quite as well as the the name brand one that I had before. But uh, so far, so far they're doing really well, and you cannot beat it for the price. All right, this uh, little oddball thing. If you're ever trying to figure out the size of a nut or bolt uh, that you need to get, this thing is great to have. People always ask you, "What's that necklace for? Is that what is that?" This is a uh, it's a thread gauge, female and male. So so inside of the uh, within that that hex portion, you'll have the the side to thread a bolt into. Of course, this is a side for a nut. Uh, and I I use it. You don't use it every day, but when you need it, whew, man, it's nice to have. Especially those borderline things where you're not sure if it's the the metric size or the almost equivalent SAE size. Uh, it's just really nice to have something that you can be sure and you know not fooling with trying to to you know use different tools to measure thread pitch and stuff like that. I like this. I like this. It's really nice. I use it. LED test light. Um, there's there's nothing at all special about this. I think I used it uh, used it once to check for injector pulses. It worked fine for that, no problem. Uh, eight bucks for a LED test light. You know the the thing about the LED is it won't load test anything, so you don't really know how much. It's not a good indicator of how much current you have going through a circuit because it it takes almost nothing to to pop that LED on. But the other thing is as instant, so it's so it's good for short pulse things like fuel injector pulses, things like that, ignition coil pulses. Uh, so that that can be useful versus a regular. If you're a test light guy, um, this can be useful to have versus a regular test light for for quick pulse circuits like that. And then this guy, this is for um, if you're ever having to do these kind of crimps, which you know a lot of us don't don't have to, but uh, man. When, when you have to do them, trying to do that with anything other than the proper tool sucks. This is good to have if you do any kind of automotive electrical, if you're going to be repinning connectors instead of just putting pigtails on at any point. Uh, th I've, I use this. I really like it. It works well. It works much better. I've got a crimper that has a, a set of dies for, for different kind of connectors. Um the different kind of crimps and it works well for things like you know these these heat shrink connectors and all that but i did not have luck with that for for these little bitty things like this uh no luck at all it, it, it the crimps i got were just not not very good and secure this thing i've on only had to use it a couple times but it works great i like it a lot again that's just a off brand but this is a one that's that's actually really well made i like it so that is it for now. Those are my uh, Amazon purchases that I can vouch for and that are on sale with Prime Day right now. So anyway, got a few hours left, but uh, good luck to y'all. Have a good one.